If you're clapping, clap very well. What are we looking at tonight? Who should I? I thought I would hear that louder. I thought you'd be alive and be vibrant tonight. Who should I marry? I wrote here, and I want you to pen it down. I said, who you marry will affect the rest of your life. Hello? What did I say? Youth, talk to me. Say it louder. Is this some of part of your life? The rest of what? Your life. Now, number one, who should I marry? If you are a born again Christian here, you are a child of God, let me see your hand up. I believe everybody here is a Christian, am I right? That established the fact I'm not talking to unbelievers, am I right? Now, who should I marry? Number one, you must marry a Christian. The Bible said we shouldn't be equally yoked with unbelievers. A Christian. I didn't say you must marry a church goer. A wood. I said you must marry who? A Christian. There's difference between the guy comes to church and is a Christian. There's difference between the guy is in our church. I like him. He always rests fine from being a Christian. First of all, let's define who is a Christian. A Christian is the Jesus kind. A Christian has nothing to do with the appearance but the nature. It is your nature that makes you a Christian. Somebody said Christian. That is, if you are going to marry, you must marry from the family of God. A wise man said, when you marry an unbeliever, you have married the daughter of a Jezebel. That established the father, Jezebel or Satan is your father-in-law. Am I right? And your father-in-law can visit you anytime with that invitation. Who should I marry? A Christian. That is, when somebody approach you as a young lady, the first thing you ask that man or that lady, uh, 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 that, that man, because most times the guys takes the initiative to, you know, to approach another. Are you a Christian? Every normal guy will say, yes, I'm a Christian. Don't, is it not church? I'm a lighthouse member now. I'm a even son to Pastor David Obaro. Good. Hello? Now, you don't just say, yes, okay, we can go into because you are a son. No. You now look into. See, marriage has to do with the content. First, without before the container. And that is where a lot of guys and a lot of ladies miss it. You will see a lady, what kind of guy, what kind, what kind of guy do you want to marry? I want to marry a tall, fair guy. The tall, fair guy can be an arm robber. Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, and if what you are looking for is a tall, fair guy, and the one that came to you is tall and fair, is an arm robber, you have married an arm robber. Yes, do you understand what I'm talking about tonight? That established the fact that the first thing you should check is he a Christian? Now, when we say is he a Christian, what we're saying here is that is he a child of God? Christ like. Don't mistake me for something. I'm not saying he must be perfect. Uh, hello? I'm not saying you will ask, are you a perfect Christian? No. There is nothing like perfect Christian. Uh, does that make sense to someone here? Now, who should I marry first? A Christian. The Bible said, don't be equally yoked with an unbeliever. Let me tell you something about marriage. You don't understand. Marriage is a yoke. Two of you are yoked together. That's why the Bible said, therefore a man shall leave his father and who? And shall be joined to who? To, to get that to his wife. What is yoke? Yoke is yoking to something. That is why I want to say something about you, ladies. Hear this. If your destiny is 20 inches, don't go and marry a man that have a destiny of one inches. 
Because we collapse the 20 to become one. Am I talking to somebody here? See, there are things you are going to learn here that's going to, that's going to help you. See, in marriage, by our orientation, I'm not talking, listen, there's difference between going to school and being educated. Though. There are many graduates that are not educated. Education simply talks about exposure, orientation, mindset. Does that make sense to somebody here? And scripture said, as a man does what? Think it in his world. So he what? Good. Now, if a guy walk up to you, the first thing you should check out as a child of God, is he a Christian? That's the first criteria. Write it down. I must marry a Christian. Not that I must marry a car owner. Not that I must marry a tall six inches. Is it six feet? And broad chested. No. Am I talking to somebody here? Is he a Christian? Don't go and say, I will convert him. You can't convert anybody. You are not the Holy Spirit. I've seen ladies that say, I will convert him. He has a good heart. You don't marry somebody because he has a good heart. You marry somebody because he has the nature of God. Is he making something to somebody here? I will convert him. I will convert him. After you marry, we don't want to convert you. You now be seeing the lady saying, ah, My husband didn't allow me to come for service, so he said I should cook for him. You will convert him, but he has ended up converting you. Am I talking to somebody here? Because the one that is on the ground is easier to put the one up than it's harder to bring him up. That is the basic foundation for any married relationship. I'm not talking about normal relationship. Marriage, you know. This one is coming for marriage. He must be born again. He must. If he's not born again, lead him to Christ there. Where? Yeah. And if he says, I don't want to be born again, this guy, shh, run. No, the first thing you should check, not cow. Anybody can buy any mala, any malu can buy car. Car is not the proof of a man's value. Am I talking to my children here? Yeah. That is, he must be born again. Are you getting blessed? Are you getting blessed? Some of you young ladies, now when they look for, you go throw, go carry chest. Now that, he can use that chest to kill you. Am, am I talking to somebody here? Can I say something to change your mindset? The quality of a man is not the height. It's not the fatness. We, we have some fat people, big and big. They are big shit. Big and big shit. My spiritual father is not big, but has a result that the world is envious of. <laughs> the bigness of a man is in his head, it's not in the size. Am I talking to somebody here? So that when you go outside, you are not looking for, does he have Vensa? Does he have Camry? Does he have, does he, what kind of car is driving? When you think like that, your failure has just started. I command that orientation to get out of you. Amen. The first thing, is he born again? Is he ready to come to church with you? The same thing is applicable to guys, young men. You are approaching that lady because he's in lady. <laughs> is she born again? Who should I marry? She must be born again. Who should I marry? He must be born again. Let me tell you where people miss it in marriage. Can I tell you? And God deliver me from that trap on time. Is that they look at the physical content and not the content. A big truck can carry shit. You say, fine big truck. Inside now, boom, 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 boom. And it's walking like you. Boom, 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 Is na swamp. But that small stuff now go there. there. That is, don't look at this. Don't. Don't look there. Is it born again? I have seen some young girls that had great future. They got married to wrong guys and they were ruined. How far you will go in life is determined by who you marry. Yes, 